Hey guys, how is it going? Delton here from All Productions, and we're here with a wager match. That is right, me and Cedar Point Guy are going at it wagering 20k. Now, if you guys don't know who Cedar Point Guy is, he is a fellow YouTuber here in the NHL community. Uh, he does a bunch of hut videos and other videos on his channel. Um, he does pack openings, he does wager matches, so if you guys like this type of video... Go to his channel, check it out. The link will be in the description. He also does uh, shootout cam commentaries, commentaries all the time. So make sure to go check out his channel. And all that I ask is that you at least check out one video. And if you like what you see, of course, subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. But uh, early in the first period, Mark Shifley is sprung out onto a breakaway. And oh my goodness, he catches me off guard, comes flying out with the flying poke check, Pecorine. Oh my goodness, pokes it off me. A pretty good chance here in the first period, but uh, nothing doing after that flying poke check. Then late in the first period, after a pretty close icing call off of the faceoff, we win it back to Shattenkirk. Shattenkirk winds up, takes a beautiful slap shot, puts it over top of Pecorine and into the back of the net, giving us the one to nothing lead late in the first period. I believe that was actually our first shot of the game. Uh, man, oh man, this first period was full of just, you know, getting stuffed at the line, passes being broken up, just, you know, we couldn't get anything going. I think he only had like three shots in the first period. So it was a pretty close matchup, especially on the defensive side of things. So it was pretty good to get this offensive break for us, uh, getting that one to nothing lead. Then, right off the opening face-up of the second period, we have an absolutely horrible breakout pass. He takes advantage, picks up the puck, comes in, does a nice one-touch deke, and absolutely snipes it over top of Jonathan Bernier's shoulder, putting it in the back of the net, tying up the game at one. Oh my goodness, that had to have been the worst breakout pass I had ever seen, but he takes full advantage of his opportunity and uh, ties the game up at one early in the second period. Now just like the first period, although we didn't have all that many shots, when we did, we had some really good opportunities here. As you can see, getting two breakaways here and one time uh, just missing the net with Lupul. And then Phil the Thrill comes in after a beautiful pass and rings it off the post. Unlucky there for us, but it remains tied one to one in the second period. Just like in the second period, there is no shortage of good chances as we get a great opportunity here with Lupul on the breakaway but can't do anything. And there are so many big hits in this game, especially in the third period. We're just absolutely laying the body on each other. That sounded really sexual and I didn't mean it, no homo. But for real, man, we were just absolutely laying each other out. And uh, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we were just absolutely getting demolished. But late in the third period, with about eight minutes left, after a horrible giveaway by him in his own end, we give it down to Ashley. And somehow, I don't know how he did it, he tucks it five hole on Pecorini. And we take the lead with just about eight minutes left in the third period. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I mean, we've barely had any shots on goal. I mean, we've had tons of good opportunities, but barely any shots. So I thought, man, this has to be it. This has to be the game winner. But, of course, Cedar Point guy had other plans. He comes down, splits my D with a couple of nice deeks, and absolutely undresses Jonathan Bernier and puts it in the back of the net to tie it up at two late in the third period. Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. I thought I had it. After that late third period goal that I got, I thought, that's it, man. That is it. I've won it 20K in the bag. But nope, we're heading to overtime. Then late in OT, we take a horrible tripping penalty in our own end. And then on the ensuing penalty kill, we actually get a breakaway. We come down shorthanded, but oh my goodness, he comes flying out yet again with Pecorini and denies of a 
a perfect scoring opportunity. Then somehow he gets the puck back and comes down on his own breakaway. Stops up, tries to go on the backhand, but couldn't get it past Jonathan Bernie. But he keeps up the pressure on the power play. He's trying to get shots on net. Couldn't do anything. So he comes down. Looks like he's going to shoot. But then passes it off to the far boards. And a beautiful one-timer pass. The sprawling Jonathan Bernier is the game winner in this 20k wager match. Takes home the 20k Oh my goodness, I couldn't believe it. It was a great game, a lot of fun, super intense, and very close. And uh, it was a beautiful way to end it. A great play by him there at the end of the game. A beautiful pass, a beautiful finish. <laughs> Unfortunately, sprawling Jonathan Pernier couldn't make the save, but... Uh, Nonetheless, it was a very fun game, and if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out Cedar Point Guy. He's got awesome content over there uh, on his channel, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, guys, peace. Hey, Mr. Politician, we don't apply your vision. We see the planet different, but you don't manage to listen. My team, the new entourage, no Jeremy Piven. I'm like the Fresh Prince, just minus the amphibian. So the younger generation, they feeling my pain. More than they feeling the way that you run your campaign. Sometimes I put money over making a change.